Hey guys, what's up? It's VJ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. My name is J. Trace Tibbetts, and on this channel, you'll find all things like fashion, lifestyle, um, not vlogs, because I realize that I hate vlogging and I hate editing it. My life isn't that interesting to vlog. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen that like I've been trying to vlog, but it hasn't been working out. So you won't really find vlogs on here, but fashion lifestyle, I'm your guy. In today's video, I wanted to go through the like 10 spring, summer, 19 fashion trends that are happening right now in menswear that I think you should know about. Shout out to my business of fashion professor for assigning me this project for my midterm because I did this for school and I was like, you know what? I can use this for content as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. I guess we should just kind of get started. Number one trend that isn't going anywhere that's really popular for spring summer 19 is the dad sneaker. We all know it. We've all seen the triple S Balenciaga. We've seen the Fila Disruptor sneaker coming back, which is like from like the 20s. No, it's like from the 90s. But this trend like started with like 2018 and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So like the chunky silhouettes, the like more futuristic style shoe, um, they're seen everywhere. Like Louis Vuitton's doing it, Balenciaga's doing it, Fila's doing it. From like the low end to the high end, you've probably, probably already seen it everywhere and you're gonna still be seeing it in spring, summer, 20. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm dying. And you're gonna continue to see it in spring, summer, 2019. The second big trend that's happening right now in fashion is neon. So this whole like 70s, 80s, 90s vibe that's like coming back, it's really coming back strong because neon is in. I was just at the Robin concert, bless her because she's amazing. I'll like put some clips here. Anyway. While I was there, I was at Madison Square Garden, and when the lights were on, I swear I looked over the whole sea of the crowd, and I saw in every section at least a handful of people wearing neon. Like, it's in, in a really big way. I remember I did a blog post a little while ago about, like, slime and how to incorporate that into your wardrobe, but that was a little bit before the trend really hit, but right now, spring, summer 2019, it, the trend, it's in full swing, because like I'm pretty sure a majority of those people weren't like shopping at like high-end places or like at Zara and stuff. And you know like when like Zara and like the like more lower end brands are like doing the big trend, that's when you know like it's here. So Neon, it's here in a big way. Louis Vuitton's doing it, Acne Studios, Prada. So don't run away from this trend. It can seem intimidating if you're like, kind of trying it out, like, oh, like that's a really bright color. I don't know if I want to mess with that. But actually there are like a few little hip tips and tricks you can use to like kind of get your foot in the water. So first is start off with like accessories. Like for me, I started off the trend with the a state like crossbody bag and like bright green neon. That was like my first really neon piece for the season. But now like I have like full like neon pieces, so, like shirts, pants, things like that. That was kind of my first like dive into the trend um, and that helped. Another really um, great thing to do if you want to get into it is start out like with your workout wear. Like there's so much neon in workout wear and that's like an easy place to like try it out, see what looks good on you. You're in the gym, no one really cares how you look, you're sweaty anyway. Um, so that's another great way to kind of dip your foot into that trend too. The third trend for men this season is denim. Denim, denim, denim. It's everywhere. I've always been a fan of denim, but like right now it's really in a really big way. I just actually got an email from Barney's about like all the denim pieces you should like be looking at. And like, I got one from like opening ceremony a little while ago. So everyone's doing denim right now. Um, it's being done in a lot of different ways. So it's not just really in jeans. You have like denim shirts, denim jackets, like denim outerwear. Right now there's also a really big emphasis on like loose denim when it comes to jeans. So WWD I was reading recently and they said skinny jeans are out. You know me, I love a good skinny jean, so that's kind of sad for me. Um, I have all my rag and bone jeans in my closet. They're all tight fit. But right now, the emphasis is really on like the dad jean. So loose silhouette, and more like of a washed out, like not so dark like I'm wearing now. So that's kind of the style of denim that's going on. Some of the brands and designers that are really like pushing denim right now are Balmain, Off-White, Versace, GmbH, those are just a few. Um, but really everyone's getting into denim right now, so that's something you should be on the lookout for. The fourth is 
Oversized clothes. So I just did a blog post on this too. So oversized clothes are really in. So this kind of like how the denim trend um, is to have more like of a straight legged baggy denim. The oversized trend is kind of gone on in all pieces. So in your outerwear, in your shirts, you know, in your shoes clearly, cause the dad sneak is really in. And so this trend was seen all over the one way. Gucci, Balenciaga, Noak, Stella McCartney also make some really good oversized pieces. So it's a really big trend right now. A few key things to think, think about if you're gonna buy oversized is don't think big, think oversized. You don't want it to look like it's borrowed clothing. You just want it to be like a little bit more of like um, a flowy silhouette on the shoulders, so maybe a little long on the sleeves, something where like you can roll up and it's kind of baggy here. But you don't want it to look like big to where it looks like you just bought all the someone else's clothes. The fifth trend, floils everywhere. So the Hawaii like shirt trend that went out last year has kind of inspired a bunch of like breezy floral prints and a lot of like floral, floral um, style shirts. Some of the big brands that are doing it right now are Marnie, Versace, Prada. Um, they're like full of these oversized floral baggy flowy tops. There are a bunch of different ways to style this. You can do it like tucked in, you can do it with like um, no shirt, like in this photo. You can do it with like a long sleeve underneath. Um, you can layer it with other pieces, have it under just a plain white tee. There's a lot of things you can do with it and there's actually a way to kind of like make it more a little more um, elevated and sophisticated and then a way to make it a little bit more casual too. So that's something that you should be on the lookout for is floral breezy printed shirts. Next is knits. So you might think of knits as like more of like a winter wear essential, but on the runway for spring and summer, spring knits were all over the place. And so the difference between these type of knits is that they're gonna be a little bit more brighter, gonna have a little bit um, more color. Uh, the prints are gonna be a little bit different. And some of the big brands that are doing really nice knits right now are Gucci, Acne Studios make some awesome knits. I'm so broke, but I want their knit. They're so good. Lamva and Ralph Simmons, just to name a few. A big trend that I'm so happy about and I'm loving right now is bags for boys. You've definitely seen a bunch of photos of me with my bags. I have like my Acne Studios full Draven bag, my uh, Palm Springs bag. I have like a whole bunch of like crossbodies. I love bags for guys right now. So all over the runway, you saw like a bunch of different handbags, primarily crossbody, but also bags that you might normally be seen on like women are being worn in menswear right now, and I'm loving it. There are so many awesome ways to style it. Um, you can do like, like a crossbody, you could do more of like um, a tote, you could do a Backpack. There are just so many different varieties of bags right now for guys. Some of like the brands that are, have really good ones are, of course, like Louis Vuitton, Dior with the salad bag, which I'm trying to get to. Kenzo, Versace, Prada, Off White, all of them, all doing bags. They're all amazing, and it really has become like a bona fide fashion trend essential. Got to be doing it if you're doing new into fashion. Get a bag. Next is a trend that you probably won't see me in because. I don't think it would look really good on me. It kind of makes me feel like you kind of look like you're a Unabomber, but it's utility and pockets. So this is kind of an ode to Helmet Lang. Yeah, I was there. Helmet Lang, who first presented um, garments with a lot of pockets in the 90s. Right now, utility inspired pieces with a lot of pockets are seen all over the runway, all over the street style of all the fashion shows. Julie, really, so things from like pocketed vests to like denim with a lot of pockets to shirts with multiple pockets. And it's not uncommon to see a piece with five to 15 pockets on them. I can even barely remember which of like my jean pockets when there are two like my phone's in. So I definitely probably won't be doing this. And if you do, make sure you remember what pocket you're putting your stuff in. Next is tailoring. So while like street style is the big buzzword in fashion, like oh, street style this, street style that. There's been a real emphasis actually against that this last uh, season for Spring Summer 19 when it was presented and there's a lot of emphasis on tailoring but just like how I mentioned oversized is really big right now the tailoring isn't really what you think it's fitted in certain areas but then really loose in others some of like the people who were like pioneering this trend are Raph Simmons which is kind of interesting because he was kind of the person to pioneer street style so it's kind of interesting that he's kind of really going into tailoring some other brands that are really big on Tailoring right now are Giorgio Armani, Rick Owens, Maison Margiela, Amelia Degna, Paul Smith. Um, a lot of the brands who are kind of known for more tailored items are doing this new tailoring um, in a new way. Lastly, checkered trousers. 
This trend is something I just am getting into. I just got some really great checkered trousers from Tags I need to wear soon. I think I actually did wear it, actually. I'm gonna put this photo right there. Some of the designers that are doing really cool things with checkered trousers are Tom Brown, Jovan Newton, J.W. Anderson, Bottega Veneta. And it's a trend that can be done a whole bunch of different ways, and there are so many like different varieties of checkered patterns that you can choose from. And it's a trend that um, is really easy to incorporate if you so desire. So that's pretty much it for this video. Those are the 10 spring summer men's trends that I think you should know. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys on the next video.